Do you ever wonder what happens when the police leave? Crime scene cleaners are private companies that handle the cleanup after the police are gone. Spalding Decon is one of the nation's largest cleanup companies handling the aftermath of homicides, suicides, decompositions, hoarding, and much more. These are our stories. How we came upon this house was the um, daughter and son of the owner contacted us. The mother and one of the sisters, or the, her daughter, was living in this home. Uh, the mother died and the daughter died as well. They think the mother just died of natural causes, probably from the environment, and then the daughter probably committed suicide right after that. So both of their bodies were found in the home. Uh, they weren't decomposed or anything. They were found like a day or two later. Uh, so they, uh, the rest of the family saw the home in the condition that it was in and uh, they didn't want anything to do with it. So they called me originally for um, a clean out quote and then uh, we kind of negotiated a sale. So I purchased this property. Uh, we closed on it last week and uh, we are in the process of cleaning it out now. I think it's gonna be about a two week process to clean it out. And then uh, the rehab portion will start and the rehab on this house is gonna be substantial. Holy shit. Oh my God. This is one of my top 10 worst houses in my 14 years. And uh, the weird thing about this house is that I bought it. So now it's my problem. This is miserable. I have done hoarding and storage units for years. Probably five or six years. This is the most horrendous thing I've ever seen. Not including the dead animals that we're finding. Hence Pet cemetery. This is oh. fucking bad. This is what? How many days is this? I lost count. So this is day four. <coughs> kind of lost count. The longest uh, animal hoard that we had done was four days. It doesn't even feel like we've touched anything in here. Uh, we left. Uh, I'm actually going to open windows and talk at the same time. Um, we left, I think, 25 to 30 bug bombs in here last night. And uh, we were tired of being carried away by the roaches themselves. Almost everything is dead. I haven't seen not one thing move. Uh, nope, that's a lie. One is twitching right now. Uh, he's in the kitchen, which we'll walk in there. So I'm just trying to air out the best I can. Uh, goal today is to finish this Florida room, which will then become the formal dining room. And then the kitchen, as well as at least 90% of one of the bedrooms. Uh, we found another mattress under that mattress. There was a bed skirt and there was another mattress in there. So we'll get, we'll get that going. We still have at a minimum three to four days in here. So as soon as I opened the door, I had a massive, massive aneurysm <laughs> because I thought there was just a bunch of live roaches right at the front door. Uh, they're not, they're dead. I don't want to be here anymore. This is so much done. That's a good thing. I'm so over, I'm so over this job. This. This job has put me at my breaking point. This room has taken what? Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. This one room has taken three days. I wonder if there's a line in here. There is a line. Like you can see, like right here. <sighs> That's how high this was. When you look into the other bedroom that I climbed in, that's how this bedroom was.
I'm just trying. We're just trying. We're just trying to get to a point to where we can start shoveling it down because there's so much big bulky shit in the way. And everything is covered with bugs. Oh, BMB. Is it new? I love BMB. Star Trek. Uh, it's unreal. Absolutely unreal. This job has questioned, made me question my sanity. Get the heck out of me. That cat right there was under a blanket. I pulled it back and it was just staring at me. It scared the living dog shit out of me. What Disney movie is this? The Aristocrat. Every single hoarder that we have done has collected Disney movies. Yeah. And I love Disney. I'm scared that I'm a hoarder <laughs> because I love Disney. <laughs> Shit, man. It was a really busy day, but just for one room. So first day I was with Ben, and we just clean like one foot by one foot. I was yesterday here for five or six hours and I clean like two feet by two feet. But today we are, I'm working with Kyle, but we are doing a really good job because we are almost done, yeah. But just one room, three days, that's a lot of shit. We usually clean one room in maybe one day, maybe two days, but it's, it's a lot of shit. We found a newspaper in here, dated 2003, <laughs> which is scary. So, it's been like this for a long time. A long time, 15 years. Absolutely crazy. I can't do math, so it's probably, you know, 16 years, but... <laughs> oh, he's, he's actually cleaning his... Yeah! His <laughs> this is so nasty for them. I mean, no, they look like... I mean, he looks clean. He's <laughs> taking a bath. Yeah. Uh, Juan, what are their names? Uh, Pedro... Ben and Pablo. Yeah, Pedro and Pablo. They're the supervisors today. Laura's not here. And when I walked in this morning for day four, I quit. So, I put somebody else in charge. Uh. It's heavy, you need some muscle. Oh, yeah. You need some muscle? Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 Yeah, Ben doesn't care. No, Ben doesn't care. Ben likes the roaches. Ben loves the roaches. He's like, oh, come here, it's a friend. And I'm over here like, ah! I'm gonna die! From a roach attack. Ah! I'm definitely not gonna lie. I had nightmares about these roaches. I know that this is where they've all been running because Juan and I have watched them all run here. What oh the fuck? No, that's not okay. That's a lot. Did something just squeak? Yeah. Can you hear that? Oh, that's so crazy. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. A lot. A lot. So disgusting. Oh. Get it, Juan. Get it. Oh, oh, oh. Ready? 
Whoa! Oh my god. I don't love my job anymore. I feel like they're crawling. Yeah, me. me too. I don't get that feeling yet. That's because you've only worked here one day. Just wait. Day number seven, you're gonna be like in a padded room, shaking back and forth. Hey, we are starting day seven of our cleanup. We have eight people here today to try to knock this out. Um, we're actually getting sick from this house. We've got three people that are ill, um, and we're you know wearing our respirators. So this place is just uh, very, very unhealthy. And uh, I think also that we're really fatigued and we're tired because of the just the mass volume of trash and uh, just being vigilant not to get bit by anything or, uh, you know, roaches are crawling and flying everywhere. So this house is definitely challenging. The never ending job. see what that whipped cream looked like. Oh, uh, it's really not me. <laughs> Why would you even put that back in the picture right now? It's, just, it's all liquid. Reading cards. We ain't seen anything. Crystal. Research on that. This I think is from like Holland or something. Yeah, it's old. She's driving yeah. me crazy. There's no dead foot in this, right? Be digging no. her down good. Not yet. But Not yet. Smells like something's dead in there. Sorry, that's my bad. Oh, that's the only photo. You probably want to keep it. Not heavy. This is beautiful. So now Perfect. it's true on sweep. We'll yeah. Close that door exactly. off right there. Exactly. Oh, this is amazing. Yep. Is that the proper width of a door? No, it's wider. It is, okay. So by the time I frame it and box it in, it'll be perfect. Fuck yes. Part A will clean up. Look, now your master bedroom's here. Look at this, master bedroom. We're coming along here. Put our door here. Dining room, kind of weird, but whatever. It'll flow. Oh You've been watching too many Jet Li. How the hell do you have this much energy to fucking Dude. Dessert? You can't get it. I can't get it. More Keep the box of Here, trash. Garbage. Garbage box. Uh, we'll fill it up. That's creepy. Ooh, what? You turn your back and just start sliding in there. Oh, that is kind of creepy. There we go. Whoa. Oh, it's garbage. It's empty. Oh, my God. We're going to be cleaning out your house soon. No. Garbage. No, he's not. Come on, Glenn. What? It's you. I can only throw the stuff yeah. out. I can't organize Dump that. Dump that in there. Fuck you guys. Kyle. What? Dump that hey. in a Here, this is ready. Christmas stuff ready to go. 
fully light brigade. Oh my god. Holy Look at god. all those extension cords. Fuck yeah. There's a big green one. Right. This I'll thing right there. Look at this. It's all new. Oh. <laughs> These are what they are. They are what they are. These are all keep. <laughs> I mean, everybody can decorate their fucking house if you're. I'm totally okay with that. Oh god. Don't encourage him. I I don't have shit for outside. We do no good to decorate my house. Nobody ever can see it. Why? Oh, true. It's going to work. I don't decorate my house. Hey Ben, we need more garbage bags. I need bring uh, two boxes back here if you don't mind. I can see the end, the light at the end of the tunnel. Don't listen to him. We can. You haven't been inside yet. Yes, we can. The house is done. That was the biggest part. Is it though? Yes, it is. Oh, we got a little bit in the attic. There's some. Once we have it all separated. Keep. 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 There's gonna be a lawnmower in here somewhere. Good, we need one. I found a three year old in the grass over there. <laughs>is an update from the pet cemetery house we've got eight people here today and it has gone amazing uh, we are up well over 22,000 pounds of trash and uh, we have I would say 95% of everything out of the house
was amazing because when when we first started, we could only get the door open from to about here, and it was stacked all the way to the ceiling. All right, so I'm gonna try to venture into this room. Oh my god. I am at the ceiling. 100%. So, uh, you can see the damage to the walls. Uh, and there's still some roaches uh, left here. But not many. Uh, there was hundreds of thousands of roaches here when we first started, and uh, we kept repetitively doing the bombs, and it really took care of almost all of it. So obviously we have a landscaping issue that I need to get on here. <laughs> but wow, I'm I'm impressed. Came up to visit my daughter in the house next door. They apparently the two people that were living here passed away and found out that they were hoarders and I've been watching for the last three four days where they've been pulling stuff out of here and making comments and just trying to get over the shock I guess because I had no clue that they were hoarders and just to look at the idea and it, it just blows my mind it's unreal I you would think that there would be some indication, but uh, the yard's always been halfway maintained anytime we visited, and we've been visiting my daughter here for over a year and had no indication whatsoever. And I, I, I can't even comprehend. I'm looking at them, I we were watching him in one room, and the man was sitting on a pile. And he was above the windowsill, like about three feet, and he's made, putting stuff into plastic bags to be able to pull out of the house. And he's sitting on a pile about two or three feet above the window. My daughter didn't even have any idea, and she's been living here for a while and had no indication that they were hoarders. I understand that there's a, the information age, we have a lot more notice than we ever did before, but to think that it's been happening right next door and had no clue. You see about the shows on TV about the hoarders and such like that, and you, you, you just kind of say, how does it get like that? And then to realize it was happening right next door is just, I can't comprehend it. It just, it just doesn't, it, it just boggles my mind. I just can't believe it at all. Stay tuned for our progress because, you know, it doesn't seem like we're getting anywhere, but I know we are. We are here at the Winter Haven property and we are doing a checkup on the status of the renovation. And as you can see, we've got a ton of raw wood here and uh, the electricians are running all the wire, the brand new wire throughout the whole house. We're upgrading it to a 200 amp panel. So follow me and I'll show you the progress. So this is our new master bathroom. So it's gonna be a walk-in shower here, a nice tub here, and a double vanity here with plenty of storage. This is a gigantic master bathroom. I don't even think mine's this big. Then we got our new master bedroom. And as you can see, we've got the furring strips up already. So we're gonna be putting a drywall here when the electricians are done. And then we're gonna be whitewashing the ceiling here. This is the kitchen. It looks like not a lot of work's been done, but actually it's a lot of work to run all this brand new electrical wire through plaster walls. 
So they had to make some cuts and stuff. And if you remember, we removed the soffits that were above the, um, the uh, old cabinets here. Uh, we've had pest control come in twice already. We're gonna have them come in a third time to make sure everything's dead. Um, for the most part, I haven't seen anything since I've been here. Uh, all the roaches, I do see some dead ones on the floor, so it looks like it's working. But remember, we did like 13 bombs uh, when we were here, and then pest controls come twice, so it's been a crazy amount of bugs. And then this is the site of progress right here. This is all of our new stuff that's going in. We've got our tubs, we've got our lights. But one of my favorite things here about the design is this tile right here. So uh, this is a really cool pattern of tile. And what we're doing is we're putting this on the floor of both bathrooms. And this will also be the backsplash in the kitchen. So it's really gonna bring some color into, uh, into the house and make it super, super modern. I don't know if you remember this bathroom, but this is the bathroom that both humans and animals were pooping in the tub. completely gutted. You can remember the tub was right here and then the tub was actually built into the plaster here so it was super difficult to remove. Um, Glenn, our contractor, has done a great job of removing that but you can see the pipe right here. It's so bad and old that it's been broken uh, and we're going to end up replacing all that. But anyway, new showers going here, new vanity here, medicine cabinet here. And uh, just to give you a good idea, look at this electrical. See, you don't want anything like this. It's cloth covered, and that's not up to current code. This is the stuff that's up to current code right here. So this is the type of uh, electrical that you want. You don't want that stuff right there. So one of the other things that I decided to keep in the house is these cool cabinets. And I know it dates the house, but what we're gonna do is we're going to clean this up, paint them and put new hardware on them. I think it's a really cool feature because it's uh, storage for this bathroom. So you don't have to put like a, a ton of cabinetry in the bathroom and make it feel smaller. It's already here. So I just decided to uh, keep it and repurpose it. And I think it's a cool feature that keeps the integrity of the age of the house, but yet we're gonna modernize it. So one of the bad things when you're totally rewiring a house that has plaster is that sometimes the old wiring is uh, tapped in, so it's difficult to get out. So if you can see, we had to cut all of the plaster here to run the new wire. So there's gonna be extra remodel and extra um, rehab work for the new walls. So when we showed up today, my contractor let me know that uh, one of the neighbors came over and uh, admitted to him that he was helping the lady dig graves here in the backyard for all of the cats. So he thought there was probably 30 cats buried right here where we're standing. So um, that's a little disturbing, uh, but apparently not illegal. So uh, we're doing lots of landscaping here. So it's kind of good to know that we're probably gonna remove this tree here because it's really overgrown, but we're, I'm not gonna disturb this area. There's really no reason to, we're just gonna mow the, mow the grass and call it a day. But um, this is a really good uh, idea of how much landscaping that we've already removed. Hey guys, I am so excited. We are at the mid-season finale. So you got your longer episode. Um, I, I don't even know what's gonna happen with this house. It's still under renovation. I have officially been banned from seeing anything else. I have seen a single can light in the ceiling and I have seen a single French door. That's all I know. So I'm super, super excited. Episode 10 is going to be the reaction to everybody and the house. So 
Stay tuned. Keep enjoying all of our episodes. We're pushing the longer episodes as much as we can. Uh, we just, we try not to bore you guys with the little itty bitty stuff. So, hope you guys enjoyed episode five, season two. See you guys soon.